Dr. Salim, what do you think of the PSC decision to deploy forces in Burundi? I think the decision was based on the concrete reality of the situation. Uh, I, I know for a fact that normally the African Union is very hesitant in deploying a force. But the fact that they've decided it seems that the situation in Burundi is such that in the interest of peace and security in Burundi, peace and security in the region, something must be done to avert a catastrophe in Burundi. I think the whole idea is not so much to impose anything on Burundi, but to try and see how we can help our brothers and sisters in Burundi avoiding a conflagration. What do you think needs to be done to prevent worsening violence in, uh, in Burundi? Is there anything else that can be done? Well, for, for one thing, I think it's important for the Burundi leadership, both those in government and the opposition, to know that really every day that passes without a solution creates a situation which is more difficult for the people of Burundi. I think our major concern and the major focus of the African Union, of the government of Burundi should be how to ensure that the people continue to live in a situation of harmony. Uh, and uh, to, to me, it's very sad because Burundi, we have been dealing with Burundi for some time. When I was speaking of the OEA, I was dealing with the question of Burundi. And it's still there. And uh, it, is, it, it is unacceptable that for a beautiful country like that, to allow itself to be, you know, to be destroyed, and to allow itself to be in real difficulties, and for it is possible for the people of Burundi themselves and to help to share the wealth, to share the resources, to share the. I mean, it's not a question of winner take all. It's a question how do you go about resolving a crisis? And I think I would appeal to all our brothers and sisters in Burundi, those in government and those in the opposition, really, to think, to think ahead and to think in terms of the future, of the, especially small kids. What what sort of future do they have? Dr. Salim, the East African community have been involved in Burundi. What, what do you think of their efforts um, and, and, and the, what else could they do, uh, and possibly Uganda, on the, East Africa, on, on the situation in Burundi? Well, I, can, I, I don't think I can you know, go on single out countries. But I do say, I think the fact that the East African community has been involved shows the concern that is shared. That whatever happens in Burundi has this effect on ramification to the rest of the region and especially to the rest of the community. And I think it is the desire of the countries to be helpful. And so, it's, which is bizarre, bizarre. You know, I think you want to help, but then people refuse help. I, I, I find that extremely difficult to understand. But I can understand the frustrations and so on, but really, this Burundi situation must help. Everybody, both within the country and outside the country, should do their, their utmost to see to it that Burundi does not fall into a situation of calamity, a situation of catastrophe, a situation of fighting, inner fighting, in ethnic fighting. We have seen that before. We know what happens. We should learn from that experience. We should learn that really there is nothing so, so important and so vital than the security, the progress and the happiness of our people. We are very concerned that what's happening in Burundi it's a violation of the Arusha Accord and that it sets a precedent and um, that that accord, which is the basis for stability, is being undermined. There are also people, of course, that are concerned about the third term issue, but I think it's the, it's the Arusha Agreement that really concerns us. What, what are your views on, on the, what's happening to the Arusha Accord? Well, the Arusha Accord was signed by all the parties. It was considered to be a breakthrough. And frankly, we had every reason to believe that it, it constitutes a way forward. So really, I, I, I think that it is, uh, it is uh, disingenuous to blame the accord, you know. I think it's important. They signed this agreement, and it is in the interest of all, all Burundians, of all persuasions, of all persuasions, both in ethnic and political terms. They, this, is, this is the thing which needs to be 